The version we have in front of us is the UH-1C. The UH-1C was designed to replace the UH-1B gunship that lacked the, the power necessary to carry weapons and ammunition and keep up with transport Hueys. And so Bell designed yet another Huey variant, the UH-1C, intended strictly for the gunship role. It is a UH-1B with an improved engine, modified blades, and rotor head for better performance in the gunship role. There were 767 of these built. So basically this version here uh, is the standalone gunship version of the Huey. It was designed to basically go in with uh, transport versions and provide some aerial uh, ground support um, at uh, basically protecting the troops as they landed. Um, the version we have in front of us is a little bit of an up-armored one. Typically uh, they wouldn't have this strong of armament, but uh, I went ahead and added a grenade launcher to the front of it, which I thought was a cool addition. There's some that did have it. I thought, why not? It looks cool. So decided to go ahead and throw it on. Again, it's something you can take off if you really don't want it. Um, also, we have mounted our uh, rocket pod system, and also I believe it is the 762 millimeter Gatling guns um, on the side. So this thing does have a pretty considerable amount of firepower, and as I mentioned, was pretty much intended to fly in with... Uh, Troop transport Hueys, the UH-1Ds that I released a tutorial on earlier this week, and basically provide uh, aerial support. And I also believe it did transport some troops and would drop some troops off. But uh, overall, a really mean-looking helicopter, and again, is going to go super great with the UH-1D Huey um, in making some kind of Vietnam-type uh, maps and stuff like that. So definitely a really cool helicopter to include in that scenario. And the one we have in front of us is an absolute beast of a helicopter. So to go ahead and get started, um, obviously in the front here we do have the grenade launcher mounted on the front. So this is something that was not included on all helicopters, but I thought it would be an awesome addition to do it. You know, as I always say, more guns, more better, and this uh, this definitely is a, <laughs> a good addition for sure. So we have a grenade launcher mounted on the nose here of the, of the helicopter. This is using the Bell 204 um, design or the earlier Huey versions, so this uh, does have a kind of a smaller... Uh, basically cabin area as compared to the UH-1D which is meant for more of a troop transport role um, but so you can see we here we just have three seats in here and again uh, room in here for interior if you do want to add it um, on the sides here we have basically the uh, pylons here that mount the guns and rocket pods so we have the rocket pods here and then we have our 7.62 millimeter gatling guns here and again they're the same here on both sides so again nothing too crazy for that uh, top here there are some slight modifications here to the engine as this engine was a different design, designed to be basically more powerful than the uh, in basically the previous variants and stuff like that to be able to support the weapon loadouts that it would be carrying. Um, as we continue to work our way back, pretty much the tail here is the same as the Huey we did before. So again, it really still has that Huey look and still is a Huey, but it just looks like an upgunned and just a beast like this thing looks like it's about to go you know wreck havoc and that's what we kind of want here with this with a gunship version of a helicopter so really cool uh aircraft and is going to make an awesome addition to any of your vietnam era maps anyways let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer layer number one all right guys going ahead and moving into our first layer we start off with layer one now if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials the way i structure these tutorials I like to do half on camera half off what this means is we'll be building half of this aircraft on camera and then basically leaving the air half for you guys to copy in between layers. It's really straightforward and once we do the first few layers it's going to make a lot more sense. If you've done some of my tutorials before then this makes a lot of sense to you guys. But just throwing this out there for those of you guys that are new to my tutorials. In addition, uh, this is designed to be the in-flight version. I do not have a landed version for this aircraft with the weighted rotors. So therefore um, it's not really designed to be on the ground. However, you can build on the ground and design your own rotors that are weighted that have a slant down um, type of appearance. And you can look up pictures online to kind of get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Um, but this is designed to be more the in-flight version. But obviously, you can build this on the ground. Just note that this is the lowest point of the aircraft. So if you're going to build it on the ground like I am doing in this uh, in this kind of uh, tutorial, then you'll just follow along. But if you're building in the air, just note that this is the lowest point. Make sure you have a plenty of clearance and 
um, all that fun stuff. Anyways, let's go and move into it. So to begin with, we're going to be going ahead and starting off by leaving ourselves a row of three here. And I just went ahead and placed some yellow concrete here just so I can visually see it and so that can you guys, so just a three row of three of blocks here that we're going to delete later. Anyways, from either side of that row of three, we're going to go and place down a dark oak with top slab and then a dark oak with half slab that goes down, followed by a dark oak with trap door and then a zombie head like that. So going in the direction we want our helicopter facing. It's going to face that direction, so we're going to place the zombie head and dark oak with trap door in that direction that way. Um, again, just a kind of quick note here is this is kind of the position of it. So you can see here we have the skids for the helicopter that it sits on, and this is kind of where it is in relative to this aircraft. Anyways, once that's done, we want to go ahead and then go back from this dark oak wood slab. One, two, three. Uh, dark oak wood trap doors. We're going to then place down a dark oak wood slab, and then a dark oak wood top slab directly after it. Now, after this dark oak wood slab here, we're going to place down there dark oak wood trap door back. Then we're going to go back up to this slab and the side toward the front, so this side right here, we're going to place down a dark oak with trap door, and then one more that goes inwards like so. So basically, if you take a look at it, we should get something that looks like this here for the base so far. Again, there should be a space of three in between these dark oak with top slabs, and a space of one in between these trap, these trap doors like so. We're also going to go ahead and go to this dark oak with trap door here, and we're going to go ahead and build two blocks of spaces out, so one, two, and then we're going to place down a dark oak with trap door like so, and make sure it's on the top portion of the block, so just like that, not on the bottom there like that. And basically looking at it from above, we should have something that looks like this, minus the yellow concrete. We can go and delete that here, and you guys can get a nice view of what the space should look like. Make sure that this base is correct, because we will be using this to basically base everything else of the helicopter off of, so very important it's correct. But that's what it should look like from up above, again, pretty straightforward stuff. And with that, that's it for layer number one. Let's move on to layer number two. All right, guys, going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to go to the space in between our first dark oak top slabs up here in the front. We're going to go ahead and go to the top of the middle block, and we're going to place down a green terracotta block. We're going to go ahead and go forward from this block, one, two, and three. Green terracotta blocks, followed by a dark oak with top slab, a mossy cobblestone wall, and a dark oak with upside down stair coming off the mossy cobblestone wall. We're really going to place down a dark oak with sign, an item frame, and a black bed in the item frame. If uh, you are on console versions or bedrock, you can't place a sign and item frame in the same block space, so instead just place down the item frame um, as an uh, alternative to the front here. Once that's done, uh, we're going to go toward the back now. So we have this green terracotta block here that we started with. We're going to go back one, two, three, and four. So now in total, we should have a row of eight green terracotta blocks going back from this dark oak with top slab. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After that, on the end here, we're going to place down a dark oak with upside down stair, dark oak with top slab, and then two dark oak with trap doors. With that done, going back up to the front, we're going to take green zombie heads, and we're going to place down one and two zombie heads on the side of the dark oak with stair and mossy cobblestone wall, where they're going to place down a narrow brick top slab, followed by a light gray stained glass block. And we want to go and then place down a row of... One, two, three, four, five, and six. Dark oak with upside down stairs, followed by a dark oak with top slab on the end there. After that's done, uh, actually, my bad. Go back from that. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and go from this green terracotta block, or this uh, light gray stainless block, and it's actually gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven green terracotta blocks. So, my bad, I was getting a little bit ahead of myself there, but we do want something that looks like this. So, our green terracotta. We're gonna go ahead and place down a dark oak with top slab, and a dark oak with trap door. After that, go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to go ahead and place down a Wither Skeleton Skull, come up the side of this light gray stained glass block, followed by one, two, three, four, five, six. Dark oak with stairs back, and then a dark oak with top slab. So this is where we have our stairs and our dark oak with top slabs and all that stuff. So my apologies on that little mistake. Um, again, as you can see, we're building everything on the right side here. So we built the center line of the aircraft, which is this point, this line right here. We're building everything on the right side, and it'll be up to you guys in between layers to just copy over um, the one side. So again, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, anyways, when we get to this point, uh, we're going to go ahead and then go to our dark oak wood stair here. And then coming off of it, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this. So you have the upside down stair and then you have a regular stair that's back facing toward the outside. Now on the back of this green, or this dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a green terracotta block, followed by one block going forward, one block back. And we're going to go ahead and place down our oak wood trap doors on both sides um, of that row three, just like that. In addition, we're going to go ahead and drop down below these green terracotta blocks, and on the sides here, we're going to place down dark oak wood buttons, just like that. After that's done, we want to go ahead and also take our dark oak wood buttons. We're going to place it down on this, uh, this side right here, on the outside. 
we can't put them on the inside here, so we're just going to leave them at, like that right there. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some zombie heads, and coming off the uh, dark liquid top slabs here, we're going to place down a zombie head here to both sides like so. Also, we're going to grab a birchwood top slab, and we're going to place down a top slab coming off this zombie head like this, going forward like that. After that's done, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a fence gate, and we're going to place down a fence gate in this spot right here, and have it opened up toward the dark liquid trap door. Now in this section here, we're going to be going ahead and actually building our uh, 20 millimeter, or sorry, not 20 millimeter, but our uh, 7.62 millimeter Gatling guns. So just grabbing the materials we will need for it, and let's get started. So for this, real simple, we're going to place down an anvil on top of the trap door. Going back, or going toward the anvil toward the back, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. Going toward the front, a dark oak fence gate, and a wither skeleton skull coming off the front of the fence gate. We also want to go ahead and then place down a item frame on the side here of this anvil, a black bed, rotated so that the pillow is facing forward, and again, if you are um, able to, place down a dark liquid sign on the side of the anvil. Uh, but again, if your item frames don't stay, just choose the item frames over the extra little detail blocks uh, any, all the time. Anyways, that's it for layer number two. Let's move into, actually, let me get a quick overview. So this is what it should look like from up above. Anyways, that's it for layer number uh, two. With that, let's move into layer number three. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a green shulker box on its side like this. So you'll need to place down a block right here in this space and then place down a green terracotta or green shulker box coming off it so that you have the top of the green shulker box facing toward the front. Uh, we then want to place down a dark wooden fence gate coming off that shulker box like so. Behind this green shulker box, we're going to place down a black concrete block followed by two green terracotta blocks back. Again, continue down our center line, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five gray carpets, a cut sandstone top slab, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green terracotta blocks, one, two, and three dark oak with top slabs, a birchwood top slab, a birchwood trapdoor, a dark oak with trapdoor, dark oak with top slab, two end rods back, and then a uh, zombie head on the end there. Once you have that done, that's going to do. That's going to finish off the center line here for this layer. Moving out to the sides now, we're going to place down a zombie head on the side of the shulker box, followed by a nether brick wall directly after it, followed by a black concrete block, and then a green terracotta block. We're going to go and then place down a row of one, two, three, four, and five gray carpets back, a cut sandstone top slab, one, two, three, and four green terracotta blocks back, and then two mossy cobblestone walls after that to go ahead and bring that toward the rear. Also on the back here, uh, we're going to place down a zombie head coming off this dark oak top slab and coming off this birchwood trap door with a end rod in between them, just like that. And that's going to be on both sides there for the tail. Uh, going up to the front again, we're going to place down a narrow brick wall coming off this black concrete block, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall going back from it. We're going to place down a dark oak sign coming off the side of the mossy cobblestone wall, followed by a spruce wood plank after the mossy cobblestone wall and then a tripwire hook come off the side of the spruce wood plank. We then also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a green shulker box, and we're going to be going ahead and placing down a green shulker box upside down. So we're going to place down a block above the space it's going in, place the shulker box like that, so it should be upside down like so. And on the side of it, we're going to be placing down a dark liquid button. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a, another green terracotta block in this spot right here, followed by a row of two of gray carpet back, and then an end rod right there. We're going to place down a green terracotta block, followed by two mossy cobblestone walls, back like so. After that's all done there, uh, we're going to go and now focus our attention here to our pylons here, basically our armaments mounts on the side of the uh, aircraft. So for this, uh, real simply, we're going to go and place down a powered rail on this birchwood top slab. However, we want to make sure that it's facing basically, uh, horiz or basically horizontal here, so we're going to go and rotate it. So we can do this by placing down a rail right here in this spot, replace our carpet, and now you can see the rail is facing in a direction like this, so it looks like the belt uh, basically flows toward the gun, not uh, forward of it. With that done, uh, we're going to then place down a birchwood slab on top of this green terracotta block, and then we want to go and place down a birchwood stair upside down, come off of it in a direction like that. And just so that it's out of the way, we can go and put down a power rail on top of the birchwood stair, and uh, again, we want it facing out this way, same thing over here, we want to face it out that way, like so. So once that's done, we're going to then place down a lever on the back of the stair, 
flick it downwards and then fix our fence gate if it does open up on you. Uh, we then want to take our dark liquid slabs. We're going to place down one and two slabs. So one on the terracotta block and one on top of the fence gate there. We're going to go and then place down a green terracotta block on top of this anvil. And, or sorry, a uh, zombie head on top of the anvil. And we also want to place down a zombie head on top of this, or come off the side here, this dark liquid slab. After that's all complete there, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for uh, layer number three for the build. Uh, that's how everything should be. And again, you're going to take what we did on the right side here, flip it over to the left side. And with that, you pretty much have your armaments on the sides here pretty much complete. And as you can see, it looks pretty dang mean. Anyways, that's it for layer three. Let's move on to layer number four. Alright guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to start off with, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull on top of this green terracotta block. We, or this uh, green choker box. We then want to place down a nether brick top slab going back from the skull, followed by a nether brick slab, and then two light gray stainless full blocks. When that's done, go ahead and go into the side here of this nether brick slab. We're going to place down a, nether, or a dark oak with sign, just like that. And then we want to go ahead and then place down a dark oak with trap door, come off the side of this nether brick slab like so. Also, one thing I forgot to do from the previous layer is coming off these nether brick walls here on both sides, we're going to place down a end rod. So just make sure that those are transferred over there, there to both sides. After that's done, uh, we're going to go off this light gray stainless block, place down one more block to the side, one more block back, and then come off the sides here, we're going to place down one and two light gray stainless panes. On top of this green circle box here, we're going to place down an additional circle box that goes up like so, with a dark oak wood button on the side. And then right here, we're going to place down a green terracotta block, just like that. After that's all done, uh, we want to go ahead and then skip back to this section here of the aircraft. On their center cut uh, sandstone top side, we're going to place down a birchwood trap door and have it opened up like so. And then going back from it, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 green terracotta blocks back, two yellow concrete blocks, two green terracotta blocks, and a dark oak up sound stair on the back here. You can change these yellow concrete blocks out to uh, whatever color you guys really want to. Just make sure you change the trap door and the birchwood top slab here out for blocks that are similar ish to uh, whatever color you want to change it to. Uh, anyways, once that's done, uh, we can go ahead and then go off this yellow concrete block here and we're going to place down three dark oak with top slabs out to the sides here. And we're also going to go, and go to the third green terracotta block from this concrete block here forward and we're going to place down an end rod on both sides, like so. After that's done, going back up here to the troop area, or the basically the passenger area, we're going to place down a another trap door of birch wood on top of this cut sandstone block, open up the same way, and going back from it, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five green terracotta blocks, and then two mossy cobblestone walls back. To the side here, we're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to place down one and two green terracotta blocks, and then one and two mossy cobblestone walls. We're also going to place down a uh, stone brick wall on top of this end rod, like so. And on the sides here of the two green terracotta blocks and mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down two uh, green banner or three green banners across, just like that. And once that's all complete, there, that is going to pretty much wrap up this layer. Uh, looks like we have everything complete. Just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything, and everything looks good. So we have that done, and we're continuing to build up the aircraft. Anyways, that's it for layer four. Let's move on to layer five. I right, guess moving on to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a like, row three of light racing West panes. I'm going to go ahead and go across the front here of these three light racing West full blocks. Coming off the middle uh, light racing West pane, we're going to place down a row of two iron trap doors back, followed by a row of four of dark oak wood trap doors back, a row of four green terracotta, dark oak wood stair, row of three of dark oak wood slabs. Or sorry, dark oak wood trap doors, row three of dark oak wood slabs, two birch wood slabs, a dark oak wood stair, and two green terracotta blocks back like so. On the sides of the first green terracotta block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood button, and also green carpet on top of these dark oak wood top slabs. After that's done, going back up to the front and working our way out to the sides, we have this light gray stainless pane here. We're going to place down a light gray stainless full block going back from it. We then want to place down an iron trap door after it, followed by a row of one, two, three, and four dark oak wood top slab or dark oak wood trap doors, and then one and two green terracotta blocks. We're going to then place down a dark oak wood stair like so. Coming off that stair, we're going to place down a second stair, so this stair turns into a corner stair, and then we have a regular stair here. And then in this corner space here, we're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head at a very slight angle, like that on both sides there. So you don't want it like at a 45 here, you want it at a very slight angle, like that. 
After that's done, go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to place down a light gray stainless paint, come off this light gray stainless full block to the side. And in this space here, we're going to place down a zombie or a wither skeleton that's going to come off it facing forward. We then want to place down a smooth cord stair, going back from it, followed by a dark liquid stair coming off it, so it creates a corner stair. Again, the white here is completely optional. You can just make it green if you want to, but some of the versions I saw kind of had this white striping that was on the top portion here, so it's kind of just an optional little add-on you can throw on that just adds a little more color to the build. Um, anyways, once that's done, we're going to go, ahead and go back one and two, dark oak with trap doors, followed by a uh, stone brick wall like this. We're going to go and then place down a dark oak with stair like so, and then a second stair coming off of it like that, so you have a corner stair, a regular stair. And then we want to place down a dark oak with slab that is going to go over this spot right here, just like that. And after that's all done there, that's pretty much it for the structure here for this layer. Uh, we're going to now move into doing these banners here. So I'm going to show you guys how to make these banners so that you guys can put this on the, um, put basically put these uh, little window here on the side of the, uh, basically the theoretical door that is currently opened up on the build. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move into making those banners. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into making these banners. They're really straightforward and easy to do. All we're going to do is go ahead and go into a loom. We're going to need three black banners and five green dye. We're going to place down our black banners in the loom and our green dye. And for each one of these three banners, we're going to go and select the green dye that is across the top here. So just like this. And we're going to go do this for all three of our banners. Once we have that done, one of our banners is complete. So we'll set this one over here to the side so we don't do anything with it. Our remaining two banners, we're going to put into the loom and we're going to go ahead and select the line over here on the left side. So just like this. And then we're going to do the complete opposite for this one, select the line on the right side. So we get two banners that look like this, and then this banner here is going to be in the center. So all we need to do now is go ahead and go to the slab and stairs here along the side. We're going to go ahead and put our uh, first one, first banner like this, this banner here in the middle, and then our other banner like that to create this window type look. And the same thing will be done over here to this side as well, and you'll have basically the windows here for the sliding doors all complete. Anyways, that right there is it for layer number 5. With that, let's move into layer number 6. Alright guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer 6. For layer 6, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a zombie head here on top of this light gray stainless paint here in the middle, followed by a end rod coming off of it facing forward. We're going to go ahead and place down a diorite wall that goes back from it, followed by a white carpet, a daylight detector, a end rod. So to place this end rod, real simple, we're just going to go ahead and place down a... Uh, block here and then place down the end rod coming off of it so just like that. We would then place down a dark liquid stair, a anvil, a uh, black concrete block, three green terracotta blocks back and then a stone brick wall here on the end with an item frame and in the end frame we're going to place down a black stained glass pane. Now working our way out to the sides now we're going to go ahead and then place down a white carpet on top of this iron trap door so right next to this one followed by a green carpet back. We're going to go ahead and then place down a lever on top of this trap door and we want to make sure that you are kind of facing the opposite direction you want the lever facing so basically the lever faces towards you whichever way you place it so make sure you place it this way because if you try to move it it's going to delete the the lever because it will open the trap door so just make sure that those levers are put in like that and facing that end rod after that on the side of this dark liquid stair we're going to place down a uh, dark liquid trap door going back from it we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall followed by a black concrete block, and then one, two, and three mossy cobblestone walls back. We're also going to place down a ladder on the side of this black concrete block, and on top of the stone brick wall, and these two dark oak wood trap doors, we're going to place down green carpets like so. After that's done, going ahead and going back to our tail, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on top of this green terracotta block. Green terracotta block going back from the stair, on both sides of the green terracotta block, a dark oak wood button, and then a mossy cobblestone wall coming off the green terracotta block just like that. And with that, that is going to pretty much complete what we have here for layer number six. Again, pretty simple stuff. With that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layers of the uh, main body of the aircraft, which are going to be layers seven and eight. All right, guys, moving into our last final layers, we have layers seven and eight. These layers are pretty straightforward, so we're just going to go ahead and do it all together, no half on, no half off, and um, should be pretty simple. So to begin with, we're going to go to the top of this dark oak stair. We're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, stone brick wall that's going to go ahead and go on top of this anvil followed by a skeleton's cold to both sides of it. Going up from the stone brick wall we're going to place down a acacia wood fence post followed by a end rod on top of those two skeleton's coals like that going up. 
We then want to place down a black concrete block after the stone brick wall here, followed by a nether brick stair to both sides like that. On top of the black concrete block, we're going to place down a rail just like that on top. Going back from the black concrete block, we're going to place down two dark oak wood slabs back. We're going to follow this up by also placing down uh, a zombie head here on these mossy cobblestone walls on both sides of the first slab. And the second slab here on mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down some zombie heads here at slight angles, so just like that. After that, we're going to go and then grab ourselves a nether brick wall, and we're going to place down a nether brick wall on top of this green terracotta block here. With that all done, we're going to go ahead and focus our attention now to the tail. Going up from this uh, green terracotta block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on top of it, followed by a green terracotta block coming off of it toward the rear here, dark oak wood buttons here on both sides of that green terracotta block. Again going up, we're going to go and place down a dark oak wood stair, and coming off the back of the stair, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. On top of the mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a green carpet, so just like this. And we want to go ahead and also place down a dark oak sign, come off the front of the stair like so. Over here on the other side of the stair, we're going to have a uh, wither skeleton skull like so. And then we want to go ahead and then place down a nether brick wall, come off the left side here of the stair. Coming off the nether brick wall, we're going to go ahead and place down a black shulker box, like so, coming off of it, and then we want to go ahead and place down a stone button, come off the top of the black shulker box, like so. We then want to place down a nether brick wall on the top and uh, bottom of the black shulker box, and then we're going to go ahead and place down a brick wall, come off those two nether brick walls here, going up and down for the tail rotor. And once you have that all done, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have here for the main structure of the build. Uh, the last part we have to do now is just to basically put the rotors on top here and pretty much finish it off. So with that, that's it for layers 7 and 8. Let's move on to the final part of the tutorial, which is going to be putting the top rotors on. Alright guys, go ahead and move it into our final uh, part of the tutorial. We're going to go ahead and work on the main rotors. For this, really simple. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick wall on top of this acacia wood fence post. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off this fence po or this stone brick wall to both sides. And we're going to have the fence gates open up toward the stone brick wall like so. We then want to place down a dark oak wood trap door coming off these fence gates. And we're going to have it kind of closed or opened so it looks something like this here from the front. After that's done, we want to go ahead and go off the stone brick wall. We're going to go ahead and go forward one and two stone top slabs and back one and two. So just like that on both sides here. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then go to the tops of these stone side blocks. We're going to place down a stone button on these two, and then we're going to place down a redstone repeater with the notches flicked far, far apart like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a skeleton skull, come off these two smooth stone top slabs on both sides there in the corners. Or sorry, my bad. It's going to be on the right side. So the right side over here of this one, we're going to have the skeleton skull and a end rod going back. Over here on the right side, with the side facing toward the front, we're going to have the skeleton skull and a end rod going forward. So it should be kind of offset from each other. So it looks something like this. Anyways, once that's done, we're going to then grab our dark oak wood trap doors. And coming off the stone slab here, we're going to go ahead and place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 dark oak wood trap doors going forward. And we're going to go ahead and do another row of 12 coming off of it to the right side. So it should be on the side here with the stone with the skeleton skull and end rod like that coming off to the right. We're also going to go ahead and grab ourselves some black carpet and red carpet. On the very tip here of the rotors, we're going to place down red carpet and then the rest of it we're going to cover the, the uh, trap doors here with uh, black carpet like so. After that's done, we're going to do the same thing for this one back here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we're going to go to the sides here and do our row at 12. So again the right side like so and we're going to take our black carpet again cover this all up just like this and our red carpet there and once we have that done the final thing for us to do is to go ahead and go to the top here we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab on top of the stone brick wall dark oak wood slab out to both sides two end rods out to both sides and then we're going to place down a skeleton pool coming off the end rods just like that. And after that's all complete there, that is going to wrap up my design for the UH-1C Huey gunship. 
Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design and are able to put to good use. If you do end up using this build, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for this. Give me a link from the side of the build to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for your free user favorite project you guys are working on overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204, and I'll see you guys next time.